Hi, this is the Rusted Willow, and my name is Tammy. If you like DIYs, hauls, flips, and everything farmhouse, you are in the right place. Let's get started. DIY number one. Okay, so I am loving this fusion mineral paint, and I wanted to try the mixing the paint with baking soda. So since I love this paint so much, I mixed up a mixture of this, it's called French eggshell fusion mineral paint. And I mixed that with some baking soda. And I didn't measure it, I just poured it in, stirred it up, and then here I'm gonna pour some more in because I didn't think it was quite thick enough. It was still pretty thin. Talk about coverage. This paint, like I didn't have to do two coats, but I wanted two coats for the texture. It covered everything in one coat with um, the baking soda. <coughs> but I did two coats of everything and I'm using the same paint for everything in this video today because I love this paint and it is so shabby chic. And wait till you see how I finish off all of these projects. So this little round piece, um, my husband actually threw it away, but it came on a pedestal that was probably four feet tall and I had him cut the middle piece. It, it was like a huge spindle. So I had him chop that up into three pieces so that I could make other stuff with that. Um, and then I was trying to figure out what to do with this round piece. I painted it with that textured paint, turned out beautiful. And now I'm making feet for it. I am going to make a riser out of it but not just any riser. It's gonna be a fabulous, shabby chic farmhouse riser. This color, guys, I don't know if you can find this paint where you guys live, but it is awesome. I am going to go to the antique store where I bought this bottle and buy more because this paint is gorgeous. It has awesome coverage. I love it. And it is just like chalk paint. It still has that matte finish, but I feel like it's got better coverage. I don't know. I haven't used the Rust-Oleum chalk paint yet. I I plan to, to try that and buy it, but um, I'm still using my Waverly. So once I run out of my Waverly, I'm going to buy some Rust-Oleum. Okay, so here I'm showing you after I get this painted and I let it dry, I'm going to white wax it and I just brush the wax on and then I wipe it off with a soft towel. And I didn't show this on camera, but the feet, I actually took the Waverly antiquing wax and I went over the feet with them. <clears throat> Excuse me. I went over the feet with the antiquing Waverly wax or Waverly antiquing wax. <laughs> oh, geez. Here we go again, guys. You know, once I turn on the microphone, I cannot speak. My brain doesn't work. I don't know what's going on. And <clears throat> anyway, I love the wood color with this eggshell color. It just, it's so, so pretty. It turns out so beautiful, but that's not all I do with it. Um, it's not just any riser. It's going to be an awesome, fabulous riser. So you got to watch. And at the end of this video, we're going to talk about a giveaway. So here I'm showing you I bought a stencil off Amazon. It's like a French script. I don't know. I can't read it. Anyway, 
some French script writing stencil and I'll link I'll link it down below in my comments for you if you want to get it but it kind of looks like it has a stamp on it um, and honestly I couldn't tell which end was up or which side was right there there was like a number in there so I tried to kind of put it to where if I could read the number that's probably the right side to be stenciling on so it was anyway I couldn't read it and um, I have no idea what it says plus it's in French so unless you can read French I don't know anyway I did my best but basically it was just for the it was just for the finish it wasn't to actually read so what I did was I stenciled on steel and then I went back over no I'm sorry I stenciled on silver lining over the whole thing and then I went back in just a few parts and stenciled the steel over the silver lining and it turns out gorgeous you'll see in the final reveal pictures what it actually looks like today is a let's be friends collaboration with Missy at Crafty Cove and Amber at Amber XO DIYs I will link their videos down below in my description box so make sure if you have not seen their videos yet you want to go to their channel and check them out because they make some awesome DIYs and these ladies are fabulous on to DIY number two okay so this DIY is it's a pitcher it's a metal pitcher it's actually a um, a vase flowers came in it uh, I don't know for what anyway I got flowers in it for something and um, I'm using this textured paint over this pitcher and it turns out so cute so I'm just and I put I did put two coats on here just to be safe because it's on metal so I wanted to try my whole idea of using this paint is I wanted to use it on different surfaces to see how it actually held up so we've done it on wood now we're doing it on metal and it's smooth metal so and now I'm just after I got it all painted with two coats let that dry thoroughly and it dried really nice I am just going over it and whitewashing it with white paint so we've already done the white waxing now we're doing just watered down white paint and then I go over it with a baby wipe to kind of blend it in and soften it up. I don't want those lines to show so I am softening up the look with a baby wipe and blending in the, the white paint. If you are returning, thank you so much for your support. If you are new here, let's get connected. Don't forget to like me on Facebook, Instagram, and Pinterest and hit that subscribe button and don't forget to like and share. Okay guys, DIY number three. So this also is a flower pot and it is copper and I know copper is in for some people but not for my house, <laughs> not for my decor. So um, this copper pot was already textured, it had some lines on it um, and was pretty textured but anyway I wanted to change the color and so I went over it with the mixture that we made with the baking soda and now I am distressing it in Waverly silver lining so we've done white wax we've done watered down white paint just a whitewash and now we're going back in with silver lining we've done wood metal and now we're doing glass or ceramic this I think this base is or this flower pot is uh, glass and again I'm gonna use my baby wipe to soften it up and just kind of blend blend in the silver lining and honestly I couldn't tell the difference between the silver lining and the whitewash <laughs> They're kind of the same color because they're so light. Oh, 
Okay, so I am using that same stencil. And like I said before, it has kind of like a stamp on it or a seal on it. And I thought that would be so cute on this flower pot. So I am stenciling. I'm just gonna stencil that design on the flower pot and I stencil it in steel. It's still very, very light, but that's what I wanted. I wanted a soft, very light, very subtle design. I didn't want it to be stark and um, just kind of in your face. I wanted it to be soft and subtle. Very shabby chic. I guess you could call it subtle chic. I don't know. Anyway, no, it's very shabby chic. <laughs> now I can't even say it. <gasps> it's so pretty. Oh my goodness. Please give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you see something that inspires you and share. I hope this video inspires you and you guys are enjoying it. DIY number four. Okay, so this is just a little metal basket. I picked this up at the antique mall the other day. It was like $3. Anyway, I thought it was super cute and I wanted to redo it. So I am using that same paint. I am going to use that tissue paper decal method on this one. And I just get the tissue paper wet with a paintbrush and tear it apart. It works a lot easier if you get the tissue paper wet and then pull it away, like hold it down with your finger and pull away. And then it gives you that perfect, perfect tear. I think I finally got this down to an art now. Don't forget to stay till the end of the video to find out about the giveaway. Okay, I finally got it sized to the basket. And then I saw this on Heidi Sambles channel after I posted how not to tear out a, <laughs> a decal from tissue paper. Um, anyway, she printed up some some things that she was decoupaging and said to use, uh, what's it called? Hairspray. <sighs> oh my goodness. She said to use hairspray so that it doesn't bleed or the ink doesn't uh, smear. And it actually worked perfectly. And after I spray painted it, it actually got more vibrant. <laughs> the, the ink in the tissue paper got more vibrant. So that was cool. And I used a glue stick this time instead of Mod Podge to put down the tissue paper. And I didn't wait but two seconds, <laughs> really, after I got the tissue paper glued down. I waited just a few seconds and then I went ahead and white waxed over it. this turns out so cute guys oh my goodness this little basket is adorable I love it whitewashed or white waxed I couldn't decide whether I wanted to white wax it or whitewash it but I went ahead and waxed it just because of the tissue paper and I feel like it blends in the tissue paper like you can't even really see that it's tissue paper it looks like it was manufactured so cute. And guys, I just wanted to give a quick shout out to all my new subscribers lately. 
Um, thank you so much for subscribing and liking my videos. And I love talking to you. I am getting to all of the comments. I think I've gotten them all answered back. And I just love what you guys have to say and your tips too. So keep them coming. All right, guys, this is the last one, DIY number five. So I picked up these, I don't know, they're like frames, but they're like wood, cut out of wood. Um, and I've never seen them before, so I don't know where they might have picked them up. But I picked them up at the antique mall. They were like a dollar. Um, anyway, except for they were this red color, which that's why they were a dollar. Anyway, I took them all apart. They had, the, the larger ones have like a plastic covering over the wood um, insert and the smaller ones just had a piece of cardboard and they had like a leaf glued to each page. Uh, it, it was weird, I don't know. Anyway, um, so I just took them all apart and I sanded them down a little bit cause they had a little bit of sticky residue I took them out and spray painted them. These are just spray painted white with Rust-Oleum white, just plain flat white spray paint. I used my Cricut to make a saying, home is where mom is. And um, I'm gonna sell these in my booth for Mother's Day. I made some other sayings too. Um, my favorite name is Nana, cause I'm a Nana. And my favorite name is Grandma. Um, they better not call me grandma because I'm too young for that still, but they can call me Nana anytime. So I also painted like some of the frames in uh, like a light turquoise and, um, but I like the white better. So it's time for the final reveal. All right. What do you think about that tin? Oh my goodness. And I put some pink peonies in there. Those are Dollar Tree flowers. The greenery is from Joann's. Those are pink peonies, peonies, peonies. Anyway, however you want to say it. There is that riser. Oh my goodness, guys. Is that not gorgeous? So those feet, I got a bag of wood. I showed you in the beginning of the video. It was a dollar for a bag of wood and it was like wheels and little round um, wooden beads and just all kinds of stuff in there, all kinds of stuff in there for a dollar. And I used the wheels, the different size wheels and stacked them up and then added a little bead at the end to make the feet. There's the flower pot. Look at that stencil. It turned out so pretty and I wanted to show you I stenciled it on the front and the back so there's really no front or back <laughs> and there's the mom sign here is how the riser turned out look at that stencil it's just so light and so subtle I love it love it I am keeping that. That one's a keeper. Oh my gosh, I love it so much. That's my absolute favorite. Probably that and the flower pot. I love how that turned out. I'm going to be using that stencil a lot more. So there is the picture. I love how that turned out too. I just added a little striped uh, black and white bow. I thought that turned out super cute and I loved it with the tulips. Just, just put some tulips in there. Simple, 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 simple. All right, guys, I want to thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys. Let's talk about a giveaway. 
I am definitely going to be giving away two $25 gift certificates or gift cards to Michael's, Joanne's, Hobby Lobby, something like that. But I'll let you choose. And um, if I get to 500, I will give away another one. So possibly by the time we have the drawing, I will be giving away three $25 gift cards. You have to be subscribed. You have to like this video. You have to leave a butterfly emoji down in the comments to let me know that you want to be entered in the giveaway and you need to share the video. And that's it. Don't forget to go over and visit Missy and Amber and see their videos. Again, that will be linked down below in the description box. And I wanna thank everyone for watching. I appreciate you so much. I love reading your comments and I hope you have a great weekend. Bye guys.